Okay, now let's uh, take a look at exercise two. Exercise two is actually when you open it with the with a PDF reader is actually the same, exactly the same page as uh, exercise one. It just shows you a hello world, but there is a difference. Let's uh, open it with an editor. And when uh, you take a look at object 5, you will see some binary data. Here it is. So the difference here with exercise 1 is that this is not a plain ASCII uh, PDF file. It contains some binary data. The actual instructions to render the PDF page have been compressed with a flayed decode method. That's actually the same as uh, the gzip uh, compression method. And here you have inside that stream the bytes that make up the compressed stream. So how can you see uh, what's inside that stream? Well for that you need some tools and that's what we're going to do now. Have a look with my tools. So first of all we do a quick check with PDF ID of exercise 2 and we actually get exactly the same output as uh, exercise 1. It's uh, the same uh, document except for that uh, compression of uh, the content of object 5. So now let us use PDF parser to have a peek at object 5 so minus option O 5 for object 5 exercise 2 and here we have our object we don't see the binary data we can only see that a filter is being applied that's how uh, in PDF uh, parlance you have uh, compression and other encoding methods they are called filters and the filter that has been applied here uh, to the content is flat decode. So you need to decompress the data to see the content of that stream and you can do that by using my tool PDF parser and instruct it to apply a filter, to apply the filters that have been specified in the object uh, dictionary. So we take again our command object 5 and now we add option minus F to apply the filters. And you can see here the flat decode filter that has been applied and now you can read the text, the commands, uh, which is exactly the same as the uncompressed uh, data you can find in exercise 1.